Hi, my name is Eirik Salvesen, and today I'll talk to you about the immediate restoration. Today, I'd like to talk to you about immediate temporization. Let's remember why we want and need to do it. Immediate temporization provides important benefits to the patients, such as social comfort, self-esteem and confidence, and overall a better quality of life. So let's take a closer look at the workflow that makes this possible. So in our clinic, we would traditionally use two different techniques for doing the immediate temporization. One is done chair side. We use a pickup technique with a crown shell that we produce in advance. The advantage of this technique is that we can deliver that temporary prosthesis, a temporary crown, basically straight away right after surgery. The disadvantage is that it does take time to produce that one chair side. And you need to be uh, planning for logistics as you need the time to do this properly. The other technique is that you do an impression or an intraoral scan immediately after you place the implant. Then you can send that to the lab and have them make the temporary crown. The advantage of this one is that basically you won't spend time making that crown. And of course, the finishing could be a little bit better when a dental technician does it in the lab. The disadvantage, it takes longer before the patient receives his or her temporary tooth. So after surgery, the temporary abutment will be picked up in other words, connected to the temporary crown shell. The next step is to work on the emergence profile of the temporary crown. This way, the healing process will occur based on the desired emergence profile. Now, the crown gets seated and occlusion is checked to ensure that there is no occlusal contacts. Of course, depending on the indication, the different types of forces will need to be taken into account. The patient can now leave with the temporary restoration a new tooth on the same day as surgery. In my experience, after a healing period of about three months, at this point, the final restoration is produced either by a partner lab, like in our case, or with a digital chair side approach. Once we have the final restoration, it is seated, proper contacts are checked, and that no exceeding forces are applied in occlusion. What I find for factors for success when you do immediate temporization is logistics. It's time consuming. You need to plan for that time to do the prosthetics. You need to have a team approach. There are several players in this picture and everybody needs to know their role. It definitely is a predictable procedure. As long as you know the technique that you work with and you know the components, this is easy to do. The most common errors, what I see and what to watch out for, is basically, again, back to logistics. You need time, because if you need to rush this procedure, you most often will not have success. The other things that might happen is that you're just out of stock of the different technical components, because there's so many different components you need, and you need to plan carefully so that you know you have everything in-house to do the procedure. So this is what I wanted to show you and share with you about immediate temporization. This is how we do it, the choices that we do. I hope it brought you something, and please stay tuned for the next episode.